Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Arcade Inspiration. My name is Cilantro. Today's rolls are 1, 4, and 7. So let's see what we get here. It looks like Battle Rage again, Sorcery, and Oromancy. Hmm. And that makes us into an Enforcer. I love it. We'll see what an Enforcer can do. Okay, for the Enforcer, I decided to do something a little bit different and kind of fun. This is a build that's intended to be a fairly tanky, physical, melee DPS character with efficiency in mana usage and a good amount of survivability via mobility and a few utility abilities. That was enough words that end with illity. Um, what we have here from Sorcery is Insulating Lens Only. This is here just to effectively allow us to heal ourselves. Kind of, sort of a self-heal because it prevents damage from being taken. In addition to likely wearing a full suit of plate, giving you quite a large amount of physical defense, uh, should help to mitigate some of the damage that you take. Uh, Oromancy brings us Thwart for a huge amount of attack speed once we have three stacks of that. Of course, the aforementioned mobility with teleportation. Uh, protective Wings giving us uh, the ability in group play to make sure that we don't uh, take any magic damage. There's a lot of boss fights in uh, the dungeons in the game that Protective Wings will help with. Likewise, Shrug It Off and Conversion Shield are anti-magic measures in addition to the crowd control uh, ability uh, removal that Shrug It Off provides. And of course for Battle Rage, we have Triple Slash, which will likely be the largest amount of our DPS. And of course Charge, Whirlwind Slash, Sunder Earth, Precision Strike, Tiger Strike, all taken for the abilities that they do uh, for damage. I mean, strictly just damage choices here. Uh, for Utility, we have Battle Focus, giving us uh, Parry Rate, which is somewhat nice. Me melee Critical Damage, of course, Mana Reduction as well, synergizing with the other uh, parts of the build, and as, and as well the uh, decreased cooldown of Battle Rage skills. We also have Attack Speed Training, giving us a further cooldown reduction for our Battle Rage skills. Uh, I do recommend dual wielding with this build. It will give you a 10% uh, attack speed increase, which is quite nice. Uh, we take every little last bit of melee damage we can get through weapon maneuvers as well as weapon mastery. And deflect and retaliate helps with a little bit of defensiveness. If we're getting hit, we're probably going to be dying anyway, but 2% parry and with an odd chance to reset all the cooldowns, might as well take it. There's really not much else to grab. And of course, puncture for the uh, uh, you know, physical defense reduction on any uh, trash mobs. I highly doubt it works on most bosses, but there it is. So, um, really a pretty straightforward and fun build. When this gets to uh, the higher levels, of course, I would recommend probably taking Mirror Warp as well for extra maneuverability. You could also drop a few points out of Battle Rage to go up and grab Teleportation Discipline. Comet Spoon might also be an option for its uh, ability to let you move around the battlefield quite a bit, although it will cost you your Inspire stacks. I'm going to go ahead and build up some Inspire stacks real quick and show you what this build can do. One other thing is uh, I did take Frenzy. This is sort of to be used at your discretion. Um, it is a huge boost to your physical attack, 300 extra melee attack when fully stacked. It does, of course, stun you for a certain duration, so you need to make sure that if you do use it that the stun is not going to put you in... Uh, supreme Danger, even though you have a stun removal slash prevention ability here and Shrug It Off, it actually does not work for the stun, the stun that you're inflicted with Frenzy. There's nothing you can do against it. You really do have to get stunned for four seconds without any uh, potential recourse. But if you need a bit of extra damage and you know that your phys physical mitigation isn't going to matter, say you're fighting a mage boss or something, then uh, if you need to finish the boss off, don't hesitate to Frenzy and uh, do some extra damage here. So we're just going to go ahead and pop uh, pop our cooldowns here. I'll go ahead and use Frenzy just for the heck of it. And we'll get in here and just start spamming our abilities and do as much damage as we can. You can see I parried, so all my abilities are back up again. You can see this build is quite good at doing a lot of damage very quickly, especially when Frenzied. <laughs> um, even without the Frenzy stacks, it's still pretty solid. And even just the regular auto attacks are quite nice. See the monster is dying very quickly. This, of course, with a 10 stack of frenzy, so that will be going away soon. But the damage is there for sure, and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> so there you go, the enforcer, kind of a quirky little uh, build, very physical focused, and uh, a lot of fun. So that's all I have to say for about about this class. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the video. And I'll see you next time.